Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. I've got an experiment that I thought we could do together involving Reshade, Simu and Breath of the Wild. So what is Reshade? According to the website, Reshade is an advanced fully genetic post-processing injector for games and video software developed by Grutter. Long story short, you can change the visuals of your games. What you're going to do is go to reshade.me and download the program. It's around 3.7 megabytes. If you're interested in trying this for yourself, let me take you through the very simple installation. Like I say, all we're going to do is focus on basic presets. We're not going to make any major adjustments, basically on and off. Let's install Reshade. Select game. What we're going to do is we're going to select the Simu executable and click on OpenGL. Do you wish to download a collection of standard effects from this website? Say yes, okay? So these are the presets that we're going to use. Okay. And then X out. I should reiterate that there is no official support from Simu for Reshade. So everything that happens here is untested and you can expect many bugs. So now when we load Simu, you can see that at the top we have an additional menu. To access the Reshade menu, you're going to hold Shift and F2. Okay, in the beginning there is a very basic tutorial. Don't worry about that. Just click Continue and then plus, let's just call this preset and then enter. And then at the bottom here, continue, finish. Now reshade is ready to go. So once you have loaded a save and you're in the game, all you're simply going to do is tick these boxes on and off. And that's it. Okay, so let's do this together. As you can see, this has been installed in the Simu folder. So uh, if we check what's been installed, we have preset, OpenGL, OpenGL, and the reshade shaders folder. If at any time you want to have a quick play with this and then get rid of it, you can simply delete those files. That's all you need to do. Okay, so let's jump in. Okay, everyone, so we are finally in. This has been an incredible headache. Crash after crash after crash after crash. Just bear in mind, every extra process that you throw at your system is going to greatly impact uh, performance. And you're going to have to find Frankenstein solutions to get things to work. Anyway, this is a social experiment and I need your help. What we're going to do is we're going to play with the visuals of Breath of the Wild using reshade presets so basically on and off we're not going to mess around with any of the settings we're just going to try them as they are and what i need is your opinion so of course i've got my own opinion and we can share our ideas together please bear in mind uh, on my mid-range system i'm currently running simu breath of the wild i'm recording voice and hd video with reshade it's a little bit intense, so if strange things happen, glitches, drops, crashes, do not be surprised. Okay, anyway, let's get straight into this. So the first effect we have is called Adaptive Fog. So on. Oh wow, beautiful. I think that's the fog of nightmares. Or the fog of someone that's had too much heroin. Okay, uh, I didn't like that. Adaptive Sharpen. Let's have a quick look at Adaptive... Whoa! Okay, that's a little bit over the top. That's a bit too much for this particular style, in my opinion. Remember, please do watch either in 720 or 1080 and go full screen so you can actually see the changes. Um, ambient light. Ah, okay. Quite a light, quite a light touch. So on. Sorry, off. On. Um, not bad. But it doesn't really affect the overall washed out um, colours in my opinion. Bloom. I'm not seeing much of anything from Bloom. Okay, I'm not interested. Border. 
Nothing. C A. C A. Oh wow, that's that's a bit of a seventies TV vibe. Not really interested. Cartoon. Cartoon. We've managed. We've managed to break the rain. So cartoon is affecting fine edges. So it's kind of adding a, a a little bit of an outline. Okay, I'm not crazy about that. Clarity. Hmm. I quite like clarity. I quite like what that's done to the image. <laughs> As I said before, the Frankenstein scenario has led to this. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently at one FPS and cheat engine is set to times 20 speed. Don't don't ask me why. Um, that's what worked. Yeah, I quite like clarity. It's not overly harsh. It's not too sharp. It adds a little bit of uh depth a little bit of color color matrix whoa everything's gone everything's gone a bit blue this is kind of gritty gritty breath of the world yeah maybe not so maybe this will be an interesting setting as i think at times the game can look a little bit washed out let's have a go Oh. Not bad at all, in my opinion. It does look very similar to basically a saturation setting. And of course, when you are playing with saturation, you do need to be careful because um, you can go too far very quickly. So let's stick with that. So I like clarity. I like colorfulness. Um, let's see. Advanced CRT. Oh. Oh, look at that. We're going to get maximum controller input. Time for a speed run with that one. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Cur curves. What does curves do? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. I really like what curves introduced. Wow, so uh, curves feels more like contrast to me. Where there's a good separation between the lights and darks. Dalton eyes. Oh, uh, what happened? Everything went green and yellow. Should we change the position a little bit? At uh, one frame per second. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What have I asked the game to do? Okay, but we're actually in a very nice location to demonstrate uh, some of the changes. Uh, Dalton eyes is going off. And do not like that at all. Clarity, colorfulness, curves. So that's without it. Clarity, colorfulness, curves. So that's what I've thrown on. But when you look at it like that, it has, it has messed a little bit with the overall natural feeling. Um, Daltonized no D band. Uh, what what do you do D band? You do nothing. Denoise. Well, that just looks like a blur filter. Depth haze. Uh, no, thank you. Whoa, display depth. We've gone in upside down limbo land. Whoa, what the hell? Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, ring. Doff, depth of field, I guess. Whoa. Whoa, what the? Link. Talk to yourself, Link. Wow. This this is what I've been looking for. This is the, this is the ultimate Breath of the Wild <laughs> gameplay experience. No. Magic Doff, um... 
That's not so bad, but it's a bit random where the focus is. Um, what? GP65CJ042DOF. Hey, no. Matsudov. No. Okay, forget the depth of field. DPX. Oh! I heard you like green and blue, so I gave you more green and blue. No. Emphasize. Ah, oh, wow. This makes perfect sense. I really want to emphasize the top of my helmet. Film grain. Is that a subtle effect? I guess. Forget that. Film grain 2. Don't see anything. Filmic pass. We have literally created Zelda Breath of the Wild anime. Look at that. That's that's kind of crazy. That, that looks cool if it was like a cartoon, but I'm not I'm not going to play that way. But yeah, filmic pass. That's cool. Zelda, I'm coming. Um mode 1. Uh no. Mode 2. Ugh. Mode 3. You see sharpen is always a risky business because all it does is highlight bad edges, in my opinion. FXAA. Let's go back a little, little bit. One frame per second for the win. Let's check this uh, slate tablet wall thing. Can we see what's going on here? I can read. Okay, so we're getting a nice change of weather. Moving on. Gaussian Blur. Oh man, if we mix that with a uh, Filmic Pass. Senpai? Wow, look at, look at what we've created there. Anyway, uh, Gaussian Blur can go, Filmic Pass can go. HDR, so high dynamic range. I wonder if with curves, colorfulness, and clarity, we're causing issues with the HDR because we're uh, then now we're overly emphasizing everything. That's not too bad. That's a nice um, subtle increase. Uh, let's go back to what we had. So, uh, clarity, colorfulness, curves. Uh, maybe, in your opinion, that's a bit too much, but I quite like the way that looks, to be honest. And especially if you're a content creator, you don't want washed out colors. You want the best visual experience for uh, the people watching. Maybe you would even have HDR on as well. Um, you, like I say, you tell me, this is supposed to be a experiment with you people out there. I need to know what you think. Okay. HDR is going off. High pass sharp. No. Blurry levels. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Of course, the more you play with things like the dynamic range and the um, contrast, the more you start to separate the world. It, it loses its immersion because the objects and the environment they don't they don't blend very well together anymore that each object seems very very um separate which takes away from their natural feeling uh, light lift gamma gain no light doff autofocus i don't like these depth of field settings Luma Sharpen. Honestly, with a game that does not have the best edges, I am going to stay very far away from Sharpen. Lut! Uh, magic Bloom. Whoa, was that... What, what? What did that do? Okay, okay, just a very light 
Perfect. Monochrome. I think we know where this is going. Whoa. If you ever wanted to play black and white Zelda, <laughs> here's your chance. Uh, motion blur. No, I think... Uh, yeah. that was that was the last thing that we needed. I'm in a dream. I'm in a dream, Zelda. Uh, no, no, no motion blur. Thank you very much. Look at Link. He's looking pretty, pretty sharp. I'm out. Whoa! Holy hell! Hello. Hello. I'm. Uh, I'm Emzao. Whoa, look at that. Wow, that's that's almost interesting. Oh god, oh god, I shouldn't have brought out the shield. Did I go too far? Did I go too far with the colours? Maybe. Let's turn off this MZAW. Let's go back a little bit to what I've turned on. Um, the weapons look a, look a, like they've gone a bit too far. Curves. No, it's not curves. Clarity? No. So it's going to be colourfulness. Meh. They glow a lot naturally anyway. Forget that. What about the bombs? How do the bombs look? Reflect bump mapping. Uh, not bad. I mean, <laughs> I can see what it's trying to do. It's trying to smoothen everything out a little bit, but it affects everything. So, uh, sepia, we're going to go yellow. Surface blur, no. Techni Technicolor. Not bad. Tilt shift. Oh, how are we going to interpret this then? The whole like, surely we need to be very, very far in the in the sky. The problem with tilt shift is you need to be very high up and kind of looking down. We're we're not exactly in that position. Vibrance. We do not need any additional colour. We we are coloured out, I think. Vignette. So this should be a nice little shadow around the edges. Yeah, not bad. You know, a very a very subtle vignette is always a nice little touch. But we're playing a game, we don't we don't need that. Do we have any more? Okay, everyone. So there you go. Um, I literally went through every default preset that is recommended when you install Reshade. So it's as simple as install it. Um, to get the command up, it's shift plus F2. If you feel like experimenting, be my guest. I imagine you're going to bump into a lot of different issues. So in the end, what did I pick? Remember, I just wanted to keep this simple for myself and for everyone else with a quick on and oh, yes, back to the fog. So natural, so natural. Just to keep it simple for myself and everyone else. So yeah, basically you can install, you can install Reshade and then just start going. Just to reiterate, I ended up turning on clarity, colorfulness and curves as three things that I particularly liked. Let's do a quick 360 with them on. We're approaching night time, so things are getting a bit darker. Ah, but we have a very nice view. Uh, let's turn them off to remind you how things were prior. So, there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please interact. Give me your ideas, your thoughts in the comments below. I have been The Complaining Gamer. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.